Hello guys, Katja here and uh, welcome to a tutorial today. You see I have ta a table full of goodies from AB Studio. I just love these products and I have some gears, shipboard gears and I'm thinking to use them for my product today. Uh, number two. So I'm thinking to use uh, these products, uh, but like always, I go with the flow and I'm not deciding exactly how it will end up. I have these uh, gears and I will paint them a bit. And uh, I have rice paper from AB Studio name ABC and I'm thinking to cover parts of the gears with the uh, rice paper. And uh, when I was uh, doing this, I'm thinking to paint my shipboard, but now after, uh, because when I uh, started to paint the gesso on the gears. I haven't decided how I will use the rice paper. Uh, if I knew how I, much I wanted of the rice paper, I have not uh, gesso my gears. But that's the way because uh, while I was painting uh, my gears, uh, the idea how to use a paper was come to me and that's how the process is and that's okay. So sometimes when you watch tutorials it can look a little bit strange because you wonder why did she do that? But I think that's a part of the process. So in the end of the, when I was adding the white gesso, I decided that I want almost all over the gears, the rice paper. And here I'm using the clear gesso, uh, like a sealer to use. And I add the white gesso on the, on the, shipboard and um, on the shipboard and on the paper and you see me using water here and to tear off. Um, I could tear off in small parts and add the rice paper in small parts um, or I have could use the scissors. Here you can decide how you want. I didn't want it to have the perfect uh, edges, so I simply I add water on the paper and uh, when the, the water make it easy to tear it off. And on some places the edges is not perfect and that's just the way I want it. And also in this stage, I didn't know how I wanted to proceed. Perhaps I have made it on a different way if I exactly have an idea, but it's okay. So you see me working here, uh, adding the clear gesso under and over and the water and tear it off. So, when I have everything, I use the clear gesso from Finabar Art Basics uh, because it works like uh, ground, the gesso, and here it's clear because in this stage I'm thinking to keep a lot of the pattern from the rice paper. Yeah, rice paper are so perfect to use like some interest in the background, uh, color shading and exactly like that. So I think it's so very easy to use uh, rice paper. 
And uh, please, if you like this video, please uh, like and leave a comment. And um, if you like the channel, please uh, subscribe and you can click the bell button to not uh, miss any videos. It helps the channel and uh, so do that and if you have any any questions or if you have an opinion please let me know. Uh, I'm happy for everything and uh, I will try to answer your questions. And yes, you see me, I'm adding only small parts on the smaller uh, gear. And I didn't uh, know how I will proceed if I have the round one under or over. It comes from some other set. I don't uh, know exactly, but I have a shipboard left over. And here I think I have made up my mind on some way and now I will add some white heavy gesso. So you see now why I changed my mind. Uh, I will uh, make it not so vibrant in the background. I want to soften it up. And on some places I wanted to show more, uh, so I only use tapping away baby wipe on the places where I got a little bit too much uh, gesso. And uh, yes, like I said, I haven't decided exactly. I have picked out some elements and papers and I have an idea, but not exactly. That's just the way that is fun. And you see me now I'm adding more gesso. I was adding and wiping off and adding again. And that's it's uh, just the way the process is that you don't really know. You take every step and make new decisions next step. Here I have a gorgeous stamp, 334 with gears and some shabby symphony paper, sheet four. And on the back side of that paper, it's a gorgeous blue uh, shady paper. And I'm stamp stamping the with the stamp twice and um, I'm thinking to only use one but I always do some extra when, when I'm in the process um, just because I don't know the next step. And here you see me fussy cutting out the element um, and uh, I'm not the perfect cutting. I'm not uh, cutting out exactly the gears only a little bit and here it's a gorgeous fly 584 from AB Studio and it's just gorgeous and I have this lamp with a sentiment 203 from AB Studio and uh, the stamp 65 and all the stamps and paper and rice papers, uh, you have the links below so you can check it out and it's easy to find. So you see me, I was stamping on the sheet number five also. And now I have gorgeous uh, elements that I can use when I will... Uh, uh, made my decoration and uh, making some layerings and I think this is a great fun to use pattern paper and stamp on and here I have stamp 78 uh, and also these gorgeous numbers and I'm stamping randomly around to make more interest and I'm thinking, wow, this is exactly what the gear needs. Some stamping here and there with the stamps 
to make more contrast to the white and the rice paper only makes an uh, interesting background. And here is a gorgeous stencil. And I'm adding here and there some modeling paste on the jig gear. Uh, that's to make a little bit even more interest and to make a texture. I also use a little bit of my leftovers on the stencil, uh, only touching here and there. Now I have a little bit uh, crackle paste and the crackle paste uh, to have a very big crackles you need to make a thick layer and I'm not looking for the thick layering this project so I have a little bit crackle paste here it gives a little bit more texture and in this project I was looking for really fine crackles and I leave this to dry by itself and um, and uh, you I doesn't show you that I doesn't use my heating tool. Uh, I was uh, doing something else between this uh, the crackle paste and when I now adding some color. Otherwise, the video should be even have been more even longer uh, video for you and uh, I think uh, the maximum of the video should be 20 minutes I don't know you can tell me how long you you like uh, the videos to be is uh, the 20 minutes videos too long or do you like sh only 10 minutes video yes please leave me a comment how long do you think the videos should be or you like uh, the full process with one hour videos because I think this project took about one hour and 15 minutes to create not with the drying time now I have been adding the liquid acrylic with a paint in the uh, amber or uh, burnt sienna and I'm having uh, some uh, of Finnebar waxes, vintage gold and copper, uh, adding a little bit here and there. I'm using my finger and when I'm using my finger, I only want, want it to be a very thin coat, only, uh, coat uh, only on the top of my texture. Uh, sometimes I use a brush. Uh, and that uh, that's happened when I want more of the waxes to come in the texture but here on the top and you see now I start to decorate I'm using my elements that I have been stamping and cutting out and trying to make an interesting composition I also have some uh, metallic embellishment and most of the embellishment comes from Finnebar, some mechanicals and numbers and gears. Uh, and I try to make some layering uh, around the, the, my focus in the middle. So I'm adding and because I have uh, some extra shipboard between the two gears it's possible to add my elements between so you see I can stick under uh, where I think uh, it's possible where I can put them. So I'm adding uh, some um, small elements here and there and soon I'm happy with my composition and uh, adding even more 3D material uh, to glue my elements especially the metallics. I can use also regular glue but I think it's so easy to use a medium when I'm gluing 
So that depends uh, what are you, what you're used to. I forgot that I haven't used uh, any gesso on my paper before I was stamping, and um, because I want a little bit shade color color shade on my cuttings, I'm was added some uh, clear gesso on it. So, uh, like here, I'm adding a little bit color, so the paper will. Uh, not make the color flow if you haven't prepared the paper on some way. So I was adding clear gesso uh, and that's why I was adding, I was fastening the rice paper also with the clear gesso because it works like a base when I want to have my colors flow. I have some micro beads and that's really really one of my favorite uh, to use for some extra interest. It doesn't take too much focus. It's only like a metallic effect and it's so delicate and I really like it. So you see me adding it a little bit here and there. And uh, yeah, I really like it. Really happy with my gear. So I will keep it like that. And the string, what I have, I'm fastening it and adding a little bit shimmer around my focal point in the middle. And I'm happy with my gear. I think it have uh, interesting details. So please watch the photos in the end. And uh, thank you for watching and have a really nice day. So hope to see you soon again in the next tutorial. Bye bye. See you.